All right, everyone, welcome back to the land of Kel. I am your host and the author. My name is Jeffrey Drum. Thank you all so much for joining me again. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Sunday Site Visit 36, and today I will take you along with me on my expedition to investigate Silvery Hill. If you haven't seen episodes 103 through 105, I will put them in links in the video description below because they are critical to understanding what will be explained in next week's episode, which will feature my greatest revelation to date regarding the function of these ancient stone and earth systems, including the Egyptian pyramids. If this is the type of content you're interested in regarding the function of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient structures from across the world, please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube. Click that little notification bell so that you do not miss the new episodes that premiere twice per week. Like, comment, and stay tuned. If you want to help support this channel, check out the Land of Chem members only section. Link in the video description below for exclusive research related content and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else. If you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch, check out thelandofchem.com. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at thelandofchem. Also, don't forget, after you finish watching this video, go check out our new channel, Egypt East, here on YouTube for amazing food review content from all of the fantastic restaurants that we visited on our expeditions across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for today's intro. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, everyone, here we go with tonight's episode. And this is an image of Silbury Hill as it stands today. And before I roll the expedition footage, I'm gonna take you on a fully immersive exploration of the site. So now let's jump right in. To begin, this aerial image shows the monuments and landscape that I've been discussing in the previous episodes. And you can see Avebury here. With the Beckhampton Stone Avenue conduit system leading off in this direction toward this field over here. And the West Kennet Avenue Stone Conduit system leading down in this direction over here. And remember this critical detail, that there are two stone channels emanating from this immense stone circle system. Here is the Kennet River running alongside Silbury Hill and on up toward Avebury. And in just a moment, I will show you exactly how this river was diverted to flood the external reservoirs. And here, at the bottom is the location of West Kennet Long Barrow, right here. Another structure that you will see very soon. So now let's zoom in a bit and take a closer look at the landscape surrounding Silbury Hill. So here is the West Kennet Stone Avenue system that originally extended all the way down here toward a structure called the Sanctuary, which you saw in last week's Sunday site visit. This is one termination of the Avebury Concentric Stone Circle system and where we ended last week's expedition. And we will begin today's site visit over in this field here. We walk over the hill here, along this path beside the river, cross over the river to enter the site through this area here. Okay, so now you can see the hill and the Kennet River that we crossed over to access the site. And this channel here was used to divert the flow of the river water from the river here into the external reservoir surrounding Silbury Hill, 
during the reservoir flooding process. And today, this area of that channel system has been filled in and there's trees growing in it. But you can still see that this channel floods when it rains. And the water spills out over the channel in this direction, still leading directly into the reservoir because that is exactly what it was designed to do. But this straight channel is the ancient path that was used to divert the river water into the external reservoir. And the exact same methodology would have been used here at Avebury, where the river here runs directly alongside of the structure and a channel would have been used to divert the flow of the water directly into the reservoir system. And you can still see here a stream that branches off the river and a channel in between these rows of trees. And this is most likely the ancient channel that was utilized to flood the reservoir system surrounding Avebury. Now, back to Silbury Hill. And a bit closer up, so you can see exactly the path we took to access the site. So we got down to the bottom of the hill here. Walk along a pathway beside the river here. Cross over the River Kennet. And as I said, we access the field over here. And this massive pyramid mound is one of the craziest things that I have ever seen up close in person. And this day will forever live amongst the wildest site expeditions that I have experienced. So now that you're a bit more familiar with this ancient landscape and the structures, without further ado, I hope you enjoy Sunday Site Visit 36 from Silbury Hill. All right, everyone, here we go. So we just walked along the West Kennet Avenue, the stone conduit leading from the Avebury stone circle down towards several other structures in the vicinity. And I want you to get this first glimpse of the next structure on our adventure. So we just hiked up the side of this hill from the tail end of the West Kennet Avenue. And just above this ridge, you will be able to see one of the most spectacular sights that I have ever witnessed. And on this expedition across the ancient megalithic landscape of England, look at what we have in front of us. Right there. Look at that. And a simple size comparison from a distance. So we're talking at least, at least the size of the third pyramid on the Giza Plateau, the Menkau Ra Pyramid, probably bigger. This thing is huge. We're about to get up close and personal to the largest 
ancient man-made hill. The prolific proto-pyramid of ancient England. Silbury Hill. Alright everyone, here it is. As close as we can get in the absolute pouring rain, Silbury Hill. Alright, and here we are from another vantage point. The previous shot was taken from right over here. Basically as close as we could get. And we'll try to get the structure from a few different perspectives. This thing is colossal. And this will be the first of the proto-pyramids that we will see on our expedition across ancient England. today's video this was sunday site visit 36 from silvery hill i really hope you enjoyed today's video and in the next episode of the series i won't spoil the surprise but at this point i will say that it will contain the most important work that i have ever presented here on the channel hopefully i have your attention if you haven't already please subscribe to the land of chem here on youtube click that little notification bell like comment and stay tuned if you want to help support the channel check out the land of chem members only section link in the video description below for exclusive research content and unreleased footage that you will not see anywhere else if you want to pick up a copy of the book or grab some merch check out thelandofchem.com if you want to follow me on instagram my handle is at the land of chem and also don't forget check out our new channel here on youtube egypt eats for food reviews featuring all the fantastic restaurants that we visited on our expeditions across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is it for today's episode. So I will see you next time. Yo, are you still watching this? Please subscribe to The Land of Chem here on YouTube and click that little notification button. New videos coming out every single week. And check out this other episode. Come on, do it. Do it now.